Good afternoon, everyone. Farmers Almanac predicting bone chilling winter. Mountains near Flagstaff, Arizona, snow already, August. Mountains west of Calgary, deeper snow already, August. Snowed up in the woods with the scouts. Notice how the media tries to play it off like a tiny bit of snow. Any snow in August is rare. It should be making front page news. Last week, Fairbanks, Alaska, winter storm warning, eight inches of snow. Colorado ski country, first snow of the season, August snow. Pikes Peak, that's not a dusting. Jumping over to Yellowstone, roads closed due to snow. Magadan, central region, Russia, August snows. Remote sensing systems and University of Huntsville, Alabama satellite measurements show temperatures down. Cannot be the warmest year ever. Snow in August. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I also started a mini Ice Age page over on Facebook so you can follow other stories that I do find in my research but I don't post in my videos. Farmer's Almanac forecasting a bone chilling winter. They say it's going to be incredibly cold. 150 year cold as a matter of fact. Flagstaff, Arizona, didn't see this in the news, did you? Snow, August. It shouldn't even be snowing up in that area until at least the middle of September, late September. It's about a month early. Average first measurable snows. I don't see August on here anywhere, but let's take a look at the seven locations around that there is snow right now. Beartooth Highway, closed by snow, an abrupt snowstorm. Okay, how deep does the snow have to be on a highway before it closes the highway? That's not an inch or two deep. That's five, six inches before it closes roads. Beartooth Pass reopens. It was closed due to snow in August. National Park Service, snow on US 212. Staying over in the Wyoming area, anywhere in purple was a new cold record high meaning that the highest that it got for the day was a new record cold. So, for example, Casper, Wyoming, it only hit 54 degrees for the high. The old record for the high was 58 degrees. Look at the list just dropping like flies off of that. Going back all the way in the 1930s and 40s. Colorado's going to have an amazing ski season this year. First snow is already arriving in August. Look at Pike's Peak. That's not a dusting. Don't know how that's possible in the warmest year ever either. Jumping through Twitter, a few pics here and there. Now this is two weeks early as well. They shouldn't even be receiving snow at least until the first week of September up there. Now this is not on the news either, but I like how Denver 7 covered it and says, Pike's Peak earlier today, Date for average first snowfall, just 62 days away, meaning it's early. Remote sensing systems in University of Huntsville, Alabama, temperatures show a downturn. I don't know how we get the warmest year ever. And if you go to Dr. Roy Spencer's site, he shows the exact breakdown. It's only at 0.3 now, not 0.7 or 1.7 like they've been claiming. That is pure fraudulent data that they're putting out in the news. Alaska last week, winter storm warning, cloud formation dropping snow over the north slope and the Brooks Range, anywhere in the darker pink, winter storm warning, looking for four to eight inches of snow. I'm still trying to track down a few photos because that is an incredibly remote area. To Alberta and Canada, the snow is so rare there that they actually had to explain it in the news why it's happening. In Canada, in August, no less. This is up near Lake Louise. I know it's a ski resort, but they're not supposed to be getting this much snow. That is not just a dusting, that's inches in August. A few guys here from the 31st Scouts, a couple inches covering the pines there. Now, I love how in the media they put, just like clockwork, it started snowing. Uh, what? Just like clockwork? It was supposed to be discombobulated, scrambled weather because of the 
global warming, but then since it's snowing, they have to explain it. Oh, it's just normal that it snows in August. So normal that they had to actually put a weather video out explaining why it's snowing now. And a little bit of media bias here. You can see a tiny bit of snow gathering. A tiny bit of snow. Any snow in August is rare. Now, if this was one degree above normal temperatures, it would be front page news because of global warming verified. But when there's a tiny bit of snow in August, it's just a tiny bit. Don't worry about it. Jumping over to Russia, that's more than a tiny bit of snow there. Completely rare. One and a half months before the norm. This is in a central region called Magadan, covering on the rooftops in the city. Webcam here capturing that heavy, wet snow again. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Just all these places in the northern hemisphere already snowing. You know it's going to be a cold, heavy, blizzard-ridden winter this year. You need to prepare yourself for at least some power outages. Maybe to have to go a few days without getting food because either you can't get to the supermarkets or... The supermarket deliveries are delayed further down somewhere in the supply chain.